Hello everybody, welcome back to SnowRunner once again. Today we are checking out another mod. This is the Tesla semi-truck that has been added to SnowRunner. And we're gonna be seeing how well it does compared to the other trucks, being that it's an electric vehicle and it actually is an electric vehicle here in the game. If we fire it up, you won't even hear it turn on because it's electric. Uh, boogie, woogie, woogie. So if we jump inside, you can see it's got the center seating here and it's, it's a Tesla semi. We've uh, driven one of these in America Truck Sim before, but in SnowRunner, it's a total different world. At first, we're going to back up here onto this trailer and just pull it around. This is a modded trailer by D&D. &D. And you can hear the engine is actually electric sounding. Oh man, we slammed right into that. That's okay. Attach the trailer and off we are going to go. Now we have all wheel drive. We want to turn that on or we can go into low and then we can have all wheel drive and diff lock. This is by default. I didn't change anything out on that. We will go over the customization a little bit later on here, but let's see what it's capable of. That's for certain. I haven't uh, tested it yet. I literally loaded it up to see if it worked and it does. And uh, here we are. So let's take it through the paces, shall we? I know by default, we're not going to get very far if we go to the left. So why not go here? We're on the Wisconsin map. I wanted to see how it does in the mud. Now there are mud tire options for it, but we have off-road tires on it right now. And mainly because I want to see, you know, where its weak points are and where its strengths are here in this video today. So that's what we have on the agenda. Happy Friday to all of you. I hope you guys had a great week and you're ready for the weekend. It is time for the weekend. Okay. Well, first things first, we drove right over that rock. No problem. And of course the trailer won't be a problem either in a modded trailer. Here's our first test crossing here. Now I'm not going to jump into all wheel drive or diff lock. I want to see what it does. Cause you know, with an electric motor, you're just straight torque on this thing. And there we are. We're already getting dug down into the mud right there. It is pushing forward a little bit there, but I bet if we turn our all wheel drive on, that's going to change things. If I give it a little bit of power here. Oh, it's still dug down in there pretty deep. Let's go low and diff lock and see if that helps. I think it's that rock there. It's not helping things at all. Throw it in reverse. We might already have found its match. I mean, being that it has off road tires and not mud tires, that's going to be kind of difficult for this thing. Let's put it back in auto and let's get a winch out to the front here. Uh, we have an option there. Not a whole lot of options with that. I'll go back on that. Let's go a side winch option. We'll use the trailer side winch actually to go to this guy right over here, uh, right there. And we'll see if this helps us. Yep. That, I mean, that will help us a hundred percent. I think it's a matter of mud and rock with this thing is the reason why we're having issues right out of the gate, but okay. Yeah, it's moving. And we're in all-wheel drive here. Let's go ahead and release that guy. We're moving here. Let's go low and diff lock and kind of crawl here through the mud. It's not liking it. And I think a lot of it has to do with the actual ride height on this thing. We might be done already. <laughs> I think we are. And we can't recover without removing the trailer first. So I'm going to have to drop the trailer and then we'll come back down to it and hook up again. And we'll go over some customization options we have with this truck. Here we are inside of our wonderful garage. We have options for engine. It's just an all wheel drive EV6. There you go. That's everything that uh, it has available to us. And it's a six hub mounted electric motors. That's what it is total. Okay. Uh, gearbox. You have a crawler box gen two or the IXE CVT for 10,000. Now I haven't done that yet. So let's go ahead and try that. Can't hurt, right? Suspension. We have a stock or we can raise it up and we need to raise it up. We already know that is the case tires on this thing. Well, uh, it has the highway tires. Maybe that's the reason why we weren't going anywhere. Yeah, maybe let's go to a mud tire here. A cat. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go to this guy and then winch. We have a autonomous winch HD engageable diff lock frame add on options. You have the maintainer frame add on looks very silly on this truck. I know sideboard, small fuel carrier, saddle higher, saddle low. Those are your options you have with that uh, visuals. Just a couple of roof options there for lights. Rims, no change there. A lot of color options on this thing. We went with the default. That's the black one down here is the Tesla default color scheme. And then inside of the truck itself, you have curtain options here or you have bobbleheads. And that's pretty much everything there is for this truck. All right, with this transmission, if you're in automatic, it does not move. You have to put it in high or low. 
it seems like. Eh, high doesn't do much at all. Go into low. And you have power. Ooh, you have a lot of power right there. Okay. And then we have these different versions of low, which are higher and lower. So, oh man, that is just straight speed out of that thing. <laughs> and now we have some decent tires. I thought I was on off-road tires, but we were on highway tires. That's That makes a world of a difference, honestly, especially when it comes to this game. Because, as we know, mud tires and mud... Well, we know that highway tires and mud do not mix at all. So... I think that we, you know, we went with a default truck for the most part and saw what it was capable of, which I'm fine with because I wanted to do it for science. Let's see how this thing does here. Let's go ahead and throw it into all-wheel drive and diff lock. I think we're already stuck on a rock, it looks like. And this is the race suspension. Okay. Well, it's meeting its match, isn't it? That's for certain. All right, let's put it back into low here. Get over that rock and try to get over here just so we can actually pick up this trailer. And yeah, with the mud tires, we are cruising through that no problem. Although immediately in the water, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be able to cross this at all. I really don't. Let's go and winch this thing out of here. Try to get up to the trailer. This is not a match made in heaven. I was expecting something different. I don't know why I was expecting it, but I was not get under the trailer either we're pretty much screwed okay I went back to the crawler box as far as transmission goes and I want to see if that makes a difference we're gonna have to pull this trailer out there's just no way around it it is stuck in the mud pretty deep actually all right winch connected just back it on up using that just straight torque in this thing because that's what electrical vehicles are all about come on buddy all the way out I think we can get it up on this hill we'll be okay and now we can get the back end out of there. But it's pulling this thing straight up the hill with the landing gear down on that too, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go around it. Let's see if we can pick it up. I really want to see if I can get across this creek without, you know, too many issues here. It doesn't seem like it has too many issues with the mud. It's just, I don't know, it's that clearance. I don't think you can get it high enough for that. I could be wrong, but we're gonna try again here. Let's just get across here. It's these rocks and the mud at the same time. Really not helping. Diff lock on. Let's go slow here. And it's gonna get dug down in here. I'm going pretty slow. You can bring it down even a little further. You have a lot of control over what your motors are doing on that thing, but man, yeah, it gets dug down in there fast. And there's not a lot we can do. And not a lot of winching options when it comes down to it. We can go down the hill here. Let's try that. Once we winch around this, I had a feeling this was going to be a tough, tough road for this little guy, and I was not wrong. So, highway truck, maybe it's just a highway truck. I don't think you're going to get a whole lot of use out of this thing anywhere else. I mean, look at the clearance on it. Just not great by any means. Go back in auto here and just back it up. It, and it could be the trailer as well. It may, you know, maybe it's just the this trailer's too heavy for it. Let's see if that's the case. All right, we got a standard flatbed, and let's see how this does. Let's go to the right. I'm not gonna go down there and get stuck again and again and again. That would be not a whole lot of fun when it comes down to it, so we're gonna just go this way instead and see if we can get this thing to actually perform here on this map. I mean, this is not the most brutal map either. I mean, imagine going to Cosmodrome or going somewhere. <laughs> there with the ice and everything and we drove in the snow last time so I figured we would go back to basics so this truck's kind of like a highway truck so far to me it's no no better than a lot of those let's see there's a trail here we know it doesn't do well on rocks I, d I do want to see how it does in mud because we do have mud tires on it but oh man okay yeah see that clearance being so low to the ground it just tears this thing apart man all right, let's go to the left here. I mean, look at this. Even in normal mud, it gets pretty slowed down fast. Let's put all-wheel drive onto it. Maybe that'll help. Here we go. And down into this old trail we go. So maybe it was something to do with that trailer that was just too much for this thing because this trailer is not holding her back too much. This thing is very capable now. So maybe it was just the weight of those trailers it didn't like. Let's go around this way. 
And we're gonna go all the way around. Yeah, this thing is sailing over this. Okay, well maybe it was a trailer issue, I don't know. We're gonna take this thing back up to the main road here. I know this is not ideal. Let's back it up here. It's not ideal, but I wanna get back on the road and see if we can cross that creek with this trailer. Even though the other trailer is gonna be blocking it, unfortunately. But yeah, look at this thing. It's super capable. I am, oh, there's a huge stump there and I knew we were gonna hit it. Oh, here we go. Now well, we're gonna be stuck here. Um, Yeah, let's go ahead and just detach that trailer there. <laughs> Let me pull this thing out of here and then we're gonna, oh, we damaged the hell out of the left front there. Dang, well, that wasn't gonna happen. I'm just gonna back this thing all the way out of here. It got super stuck there, man. Like really stuck. Oh, it'll hit that tree. We, we're gonna hit that tree. So I'm gonna go around the other way back to it. I think that's the only way to do it. They, these stumps get in your way and you just can't do anything with it. So we're gonna go around this way. No problem. And it's almost nighttime. Let's see what the lighting looks like on. It's pretty basic lighting when it comes to the front of the truck, but we have that additional off-road lights that are helping a little bit here. Let's make it back during the day. And we're back during the day. Let's go ahead and put this thing into, oh, can we have diff lock? No, only in low gear. Okay, I was about to say, we can't have diff lock in automatic. That would make too much sense. All right, so it crosses this no problem with this trailer. I feel like the other trailer, I, it, was, it was struggling with no matter what we did. I mean, here's a little deeper water here, but at least it's moving, you know? I don't know, man. Yeah, it's already stuck. This thing may just not be good, like at all. May just not be good at all here. All right, full power down the hill here. <laughs> These rocks are gonna stop it immediately. Oh yeah, that's damage. Oh yeah, that's damage. Oh yeah, this thing is sideways in here. What were we thinking? We can't go around this. It just goes straight down into the water. Oh yeah, it's done. All right, we saw what it could do at that map. Now we're at the Erska River, so we're gonna go ahead and just see how it handles in the snow with this transmission. Now, I may be very confused about what the two transmissions do. I will admit to that being a thing, but I don't know. I'm just not impressed with what it can do as far as, you know, capability in the grand scheme of things of what SnowRunner's all about. Oh, here we go. Time for a little bit of a test here to see how this thing does with this wheelbase being as crazy as it is. Really? You can't go that way? All right, let's turn the all-wheel drive on, I guess. We can drive up onto it, there we go. All right, so it went across that, no problem. Very useless without all-wheel drive on, which it's not the Tesla's fault. A lot of trucks are that way. Also notice that the left side is that color and the right side has the black right rear. I think that is part of the actual truck though. Oh man, going up this hill, not a problem. I mean, we are on ice too. Come on, having that torque. Okay, maybe this is a truck you want for ice. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty impressive actually. And here we are in a little bit of snow here. I mean, we're not on anything deep. Here's some deep mud here. Let's see how this thing does. Cause you know, it's maybe more of a capable vehicle. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, you know, as a fuel carrier or something, I'm gonna put this in low and get the flock on and try to drive out of this. There you go. You got it. You know, maybe that's more of its style. But as far as pulling a trailer, what it's designed for, not seeing it being good in the snow and the mud. Just not seeing that, man. All right. Well, let's, we've seen what it can do there. I mean, it's fun to drive. Weird that it has that little electrical sound to it. You know, it's a very quiet truck. But if you want to be stealthy out here, you certainly can be. Man, look at this. We're going to roll this thing right. Look at the speed it's got. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Let's just send it down the hill, man. That is going to hurt. It pushed that rock straight out of the way. All right, well, if we get more speed up again, we can, oh, we got a stupid set of stuff in the way. All right, just send it off the hill, man. We're gonna recover it anyway, so why not? Just send it down the hill. Yep, there you go. 
Yeah, that's about right. I want to mess with this IXE CBT again. So low gear slider based. An attempt to make a mostly manual gearbox. Okay, we're going to go with that. Tires, I'm fine with those being the way they are. Let's see. Frame add-ons. Let's throw something onto this. Let's put a small fuel carrier on this just to see, you know, just for the hell of it. Just to see what it can do. See if it helps. And remember, we can't go forward that way. We have to go into low. And then I wonder if I can go from low into high. You can do that. Okay. So automatic is kind of like neutral in this gearbox. So let's see how this works here. Turn our all-wheel drive on. Around the corner. We can... Oh, we can't have diff lock on. Oh, yeah. In low only, duh. Same thing. Just making sure that you couldn't turn it on in high. All right. Let's go up onto this guy here. That all-wheel drive. Woo! Almost fell down in there. All right, cool. All right, hit there, not a problem. Yeah, I mean, the speed this thing gets going up a hill of ice is pretty impressive. Considering these aren't chain tires either. If we get a little bit in the snow, we get more traction, and that helped out a lot right there. Yeah, this thing is super capable once you get going up the speed here. Drop it into low because high will just, I mean, we know we'll just... I don't think you can kill it. I think I just sit here and... Oh, automatic goes once you get moving. Weird. That is strange. Okay. Didn't... Wasn't expecting that. There's high. I wonder if... Since this is electric, you know, that's not going to kill the engine. You can... Oh, no, it will stall the engine. Okay. That's just physics in SnowRunner. We do know that. Oh. Oh, don't you... Don't you do it. <laughs> it's just useless. Nothing. You got nothing, man. Okay. There we go. Use that little tree there to knock us back over. I'm fine with that. Let's see how this thing does over here. And turn the diff lock on. It just digs down in the mud and doesn't go anywhere. What happened to my guy? Um, dude, you okay? He lost his head in that accident. And now it's just this ghost. It's just the ghost hands left over. Oh no. There you have it, folks. That is a look at the Tesla Semi in SnowRunner. And I gotta say, it's just, I don't know what you would use it for in SnowRunner. It seems like it's just got too many disadvantages to even name. So, I don't know. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Enjoy the rest of your Friday and your weekend ahead. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Oh, also, the horn on this thing? Very mean. A lot of, lot of bark, but no bite. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available if you check out the link in the description below. And uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.